Hey y'all, and welcome to Jaywalk Media. My name is Brian, and Lara Trump absolutely cooks Dana Bash on her own show, particularly when it comes to the terrible FEMA and federal government response to Hurricane Helene. He said that FEMA is only offering $750 to Americans who have had their homes destroyed. That's not true. Uh, he's also echoing conspiracy theorists online who falsely claim that the administration is redirecting disaster money for undocumented immigrants. That's also not true. Why is he spreading misinformation in a crisis like that? And does that concern you about your fellow North Carolinians and how and whether they could actually get help? I am incredibly concerned in North Carolina. I, I hear every day from people on the ground there, and they are desperate for help. It is a, a dire situation there. I actually think we don't even know the extent yet of truly how bad it is there. And look, Kamala Harris did come out and say it's $750 per family right now. The idea that we've spent $650 million in fiscal year 24 on the migrant crisis that Kamala Harris was responsible for stopping, and by all accounts, she created by having an open door policy at our southern border. But, but is Laura, let, Laura, let me just stop the you right there. Of this country. Let me just stop you right there because I just want to not let this uh, get out there. You are right that FEMA is giving seven hundred and fifty dollars, but that is a first step. It's for immediate needs. It's called the serious, well, Alejandro serious, came serious out, uh, needs Dana, assistance. Dana and said that they are out of money in terms what, of their hurricane relief. We have another hurricane heading towards Florida right now. What they have Why said is, is that there is money right now. Why don't they have anything in order? Why is it that right now well, the citizens in Western North Carolina are screaming for help and it's having to come from local citizens? People from my hometown of Wilmington are driving across the state six yeah. hours to go to the but that, and help people. It is Who bad. Is it, our federal government? It, Why it, are they out of it money? Is, it, it is bad there. But my question is about the misinformation, particularly the notion that they are moving money to migrants, uh, to, you say, well, here, undocumented migrants, which FEMA you says have, flatly is have, not true. And, and if people are not... Uh, getting correct information, then they can't go for the for assistance as they have been asked for. I just want to quickly Dana, play with Senator uh, Senator no, no, Tom no, no. Tillis. Let me just say for one second. Go ahead. You have migrants being housed in luxury hotels in New York City. We have paid so much money from our tax dollars into the crisis that didn't need to happen. We could redirect money to help people immediately on the ground in North but Carolina. Laura, or they're in saying Florida, that they where we're have probably going to have a situation that's a separate, coming up in that's the next a separate, several days. That's a separate tranche of no money. Is, that's a separate okay. tranche of money. I want you to if listen to. I want you to migrant crisis. I want you to listen to what every American. It is a big problem. Th th this is just asinine. All right, this is the state of the mainstream media. They care more about getting a minor fact check correct. Yes. $750 is the immediate response for people who are in dire straits. But not much is happening after that, okay? The FEMA response to this whole thing, to Hurricane uh, Helene, has been abysmal. Alejandro Mayorkas had to come out and admit that, hey, uh, we're kind of out of money here. It's almost as if Mayorkas is just, you know, bad at his job. There's a reason that Republicans tried to impeach him. I wish they would have succeeded because maybe then you might get someone competent. But then again, this is the Biden-Harris administration. We are used to terrible um, nominees going into court positions. We are used to just lackeys, for lack of a better word, getting into office and then wallowing around wondering why everything's on fire. Hey guys, I want to give a quick shout out to our amazing sponsor, Bonner Private Wines Partnership. Do you guys like drinking wine with dinner, but get tired of the sh overly sugary, mass-produced stuff that you find at the grocery store? Well, let me tell you about something different. Wines from extreme altitudes not only taste better, but are actually better for you. These wines come from up to 9,000 feet in the Andes Mountains of Argentina and are packed with polyphenols and antioxidants, compounds that are known to be good for your heart health and your overall health. What does that mean for you? Wines that are rich in flavor and pure without being full of chemicals and dyes that you'd find in generic wines. Imagine tasting smoky, bold tasting wine 
in a bottle that is crafted in one of the most remote places in the world. The Bonner Private Wines Partnership makes it easy to get these rare wines. Right now, you can save $25 on your first order and get complimentary shipping. Just visit bonnerprivatewines.com jaywalk to get started. This is a healthier, tastier wine experience you won't want to miss out on. Now let's get back to the video. We just had a massive hurricane drump entire buckets on the Great Smoky Mountains, creating some of the worst flooding I think I have ever seen in my young life. And the good news is that people are trying to go out there and help their fellow man. There's plenty, plenty of people across the South. Samaritan's Purse is based out of Boone, North Carolina, and they got uh, just absolutely shellacked by this hurricane. And yet... You would think that FEMA would go, hey, thank you for the extra help. Come on in. No, they're restricting airspace. They're stopping supplies from moving in, all because more competent organizations, non-government organizations, and individuals are just better at helping their fellow man than our own federal government. This has just been a disaster on every single level. And it seems that the only reason that FEMA isn't doing its job is to save face. That is evil, just for lack of a better word. So ultimately, the mainstream media, instead of reporting on just how bad FEMA is at his job, cares more that Donald Trump said that FEMA is only handing out uh, $750, pretty much the exact same response that they did in Maui during those terrible wildfires. This is Democrat mismanagement at its finest, because all they seem to know to do is throw money at the problem and then never take responsibility. What happened in Lahaina was that the Democrat local officials were terrified that the people would panic and create even more of an issue. Instead of sounding the sirens and telling everyone, hey, uh, there's a problem, y'all need to evacuate now. Instead, they got one of the worst disasters in Hawaii's history, probably since Pearl Harbor. <sighs> and instead of reporting on the flooding, instead of reporting on the Thousands of people impacted. They care more that Donald Trump isn't telling the full story. This is insane. We live in a clown world. There are people who need help. There's a media that's not doing its job. And it seems like the only person with common sense in this entire video was Lara Trump reminding the entire audience how they're mismanaging your taxpayer dollars. This is a clown world. 